Good evening, my people. It's my hope every one of you is having a fantastic day. Me too, I'm having a good day. Besides the so many topics, so many diseases which you people, all my fans have requested me to discuss. So for those who their topics have not yet been discussed, just have in mind that they are all in my plans and within a few days I will be able to capture or I will be able to discuss your topic. So if you find that it has not yet been discussed, just be patient enough because I have so many fans or so many people who are requesting so many types of disease and to make this video or to make this and uh, this discussion it's not always a easy job it's always very hard and i have to make you people i have to give you what i promised so let's be patient with each other so today we are going to co continue with our discussion on uh, syphilis because i had so many people asking about the same and today we are going to continue with the third stage of syphilis as uh, you people know, the other day we discussed, discussed the first two stages, which was primary and secondary. So let's embark in our third uh, stage. And before we start this discussion, guys, let me appreciate you for the support you are giving me. Thank you for the 6.8 thousand uh, subscribers. Uh, we are almost clicking at 7,000 subscribers and I appreciate your support, guys. Let's continue sharing, let's continue subscribing, let's continue commenting and then make this video reach as many people as possible. Back to our topic. The third stage of syphilis after primary and secondary stage is what we call latent, latent syphilis. I hope you guys you can remember the primary which is the first stage and the secondary which is the second stage. And today, let's start with the Latin stage. This is the third stage, uh, which is also called an Eden stage. What does it mean by the word Eden? If you write something, it means that you can't see it. And in this case, it means in this stage, the signs and symptoms are not noticed. That is, you can't tell if a person is having this kind of a disease because the signs go dormant. So, uh, in uh, primary and secondary, yeah, primary and secondary symptoms, as we discuss in the primary and secondary, the, which are the first and second stage. So, the primary and secondary symptoms disappear, and there will be no, no noticeable. Or will be unable to notice any symptoms. However, the bacteria, I want you to note these guys, here in the latent syphilis stage, which is the third stage, the primary and the secondary symptoms disappear. And however, the bacteria, notice, the bacteria remains in the body. It doesn't mean that if the, the, the symptoms of the first and second stage disappear, it doesn't mean you are healed. No, it just goes dormant while the bacteria is still multiplying and multiplying inside your body. I hope you get this, guys. So, note this. This stage can last for years before progressing to the fourth stage which is the tertiary stage it can last for years and decades before progressing to the fourth stage which is the tertiary stage so let's go to the tertiary syphilis which is the fourth and the final stage of syphilis we discussed the first which is primary secondary which is sec uh, secondary which is the second stage Third, which is the Latin stage, which have, we have just discussed. And fourth, the tertiary syphilis. This stage lasts 
I want you guys to be careful with this kind of one disease. Tertiary syphilis is the last stage of infection. Not 14 to 40 percent of people, 14 to 40 percent of people with the syphilis must enter this stage. It occurs years or decades after initial stage of infection and can be life-threatening. What does it mean by life-threatening? It means, it simply means it can cost your life or it can kill you to be direct. Note, some other outcomes of tertiary syphilis, which is the, the, the final stage, some other outcomes of tertiary syphilis include one hour the, 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 they are more of complications of this stage. One, blindness. This means syphilis can cause you lose your eyesight or it can cost your eyesight. We have hearing loss. We have mental health conditions. We have memory loss. We have destruction of soft tissue and bone. We have neurological disorders, for example, stroke and meningitis. We have heart diseases. We have neurosyphilis. That means it, it, the, the infection affects the nerves or the, 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 the neurons. So neuro, neurosyphilis, it mean, simply means infection of brain and spinal cord. And it can also involve the nerves. Let's come to the diagnosis of uh, syphilis. Diagnosis of syphilis, one, it can be diagnosed with, through laboratory tests. For example, VDRL test, which is the most commonly used kind of a laboratory test. Number two, you can diagnose, or a doctor can, can diagnose through what we call physical examination. For example, presence of painless sore and in that painless sore a sample can be taken or what we call fine needle aspiration of the contents of that sore can be uh, taken to lab to detect the presence of syphilis bacteria. We have lumbar puncture or spinal tap. Lumbar puncture or spinal tap. This is used to detect tertiary stage of syphilis or else syphilis bacteria. I hope you get that. So those are the three main, main ways that can be used to diagnose syphilis. Let's discuss about syphilis and pregnancy. All antenatal mothers or expectant mothers should have routine, not this, should have routine screening for syphilis and other STD and STIs as part of regular pregnancy complication. Not this. Syphilis can cause serious complications in a pregnant mother or an antenatal mother or expectant mother. It can cause complication to the mother or complication to the child. So regular screening during antenatal visits is always mandatory to detect this kind of a disease earlier enough and treat it before it affects the child or else before it makes it causes serious complications to the mother so what are some of the uh, complications that a mother who is expectant who, who is pregnant what are some of the effects or complications that this kind of a disease can cause? One, it can cause miscarriage, that is loss of pregnancy. Number two, it can cause stillbirth. Stillbirth is whereby the child is born but dead. Number three, it can cause premature births or the child can be born before term or before nine months. Not this. Syphilis can be transmitted to fetus, so screening is very important as it can cause severe damage to fetus. So screening is very important because syphilis can cause severe damage to fetus and its 
life threatening this is also called congenital syphilis so syphilis that can be transmitted from the mother to child during pregnancy it's also called congenital syphilis babies born with congenital syphilis can develop the following one develop develop developmental delays or what we call delayed milestones number two they can develop seizures or conversions number three they can de develop rashes they can have fever they can have anemia or low blood count they can have what we call swollen liver stroke spleen they can have jaundice or oh, this is whereby the child develops a ye yellow coloration due to destruction of red blood cells they can co also develop infectious source infectious source that is untreated congenital syphilis or untreated syphilis congenital syphilis as i've said it's syphilis that can be transmitted from the mother to child during pregnancy so untreated congenital syphilis can cause damage to the baby i hope you get this untreated congenital syphilis or syphilis that can be trans, tra, uh, transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy if it's left untreated can cause damage to the baby's one um, bones number two teeth number three eyes number four ears and also it can damage the brain this is how serious this disease can 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 be. Not this. Treatment of choice in pregnancy is always penicillin, and the dose depends on the laboratory tests and the level of infection. This marks the end of our first video today. Let's meet in the next video in a few moments. And before we get back to the next video, guys let's let's continue subscribing let's continue sharing let's make this channel grow bigger and bigger and i appreciate your support and the far you are taking me have a wonderful evening